it, it works great for me right there it's always recording and for less than $60 that's a good good price all right so I got the camera ran over here right underneath there I got enough wire this red wire is gonna go to the uh, backup right there uh, if you have problem uh, looking for what colors of your backup camera let me know you probably need someone to put on reverse some car uh, you have to turn the key or start the car but some car you just turn the key on put the reverse this light will come on there's only two light on the back of these on one is the black and another one is the color that uh, power up when you put on reverse so I ran it right underneath there I mean every car is a little bit different but your main thing every car got this booth right there right there so it's a parking brake booth type uh, so you ran it right there and then you got this two wire right here the reason I say one of them is the uh, three millimeter and the other one is the uh, oh I could not remember that what's that called but it's the plug it's an old uh, Samsung phone plug looking like so that and then as this this is gonna be down here somewhere I'm gonna hide it somewhere I don't like to put it over there the secret lighter plug because it just look it just doesn't look right to me so I bought the uh, it's called install bay it's called ice CIGF I think they're about seven dollar ten dollars the most you can buy one from AutoZone or anybody place you've got to put one to the ground and then the other side well you're gonna you might have to test it I think the one with the uh, the square looking is the positive side and then the other one is the negative side I'll let you know on that one I'm gonna run this up there to my uh, windshield well not windshield the uh, rear view uh, uh, rear view uh, mirror right here so I'm gonna go through here you see this is too wide I'm gonna go through here all the way up there I kind of uh, pulled the wire in enough right there. I'm gonna hide it right there. Take the booth out, the A pillar, is call it, uh, and just hide it in there and lift this thing down. Just put your finger and grab it down and hide the wire like so. And all this car are the same. Any any car, you can peel this whole thing out, or you just don't have to. You can be careful. A lot of them are airbags right here, so be careful that. And then just keep your wire around there and then after you got everything installed you just lift you just pull your wire in and snuck it in here so in my truck I'm gonna be using this uh, it's called mobile interconnect at a fuse mobile interconnect at a fuse mine is AAF 5 micro 2 basically the AAF just a micro zero two is the one that you want to use either micro 2 micro or fuse Depends, you know, mine look like this. It's a small little piece right here. I'm gonna put another 10 amp right there and 10 amp right there, and I'll show you how that works. So I got one of the fuse in here, and then I'm gonna take another fuse from here. What you wanna do is to find out, like, like so far, right? I, the one I got right now, you see the red lights on. This is constant, meaning the key's not on, it's staying 12 volt. And then you got this one right there right here when you turn the key on this light will come on right there to the on position so I use it like this I kind of cheated back in the day but uh, I'm gonna grab this out got fused see how I done it I kind of cheated so it works but you know if you don't have the right stuff that I have just use it like this that will work also playing earlier uh, now with this kind the one with the letter as you can see right there the one I'm holding is the one uh, 12 uh, positive side which means it's that one in the middle in the hole right there and then the side is negative so let me see if I'm uh, so you can see right there you see that the one with the printed that's negative okay use that as a ground I'm gonna ground it so I crimped everything uh, the one I mentioned for the ground, the one with the uh, printed, it's the ground. So I'm going to ground it to a metal frame right somewhere right here. Screw it to the ground. And then this fuse right there. As you can see, you see two fuse. 
I'm going to put it right back where it belong. Keep it like that. You can see right there. And then I'm going to ground it and then I'm going to plug the uh, plug right there. Secret lighter plug. Plug in there. I push it in. I taped it so it won't come out. And then hide the uh, things somewhere around here. And run my ground. I use a soft type of screw to, to ground this. When I say soft type of screw, it's screw to the metal. That's for metal tools, not like drywalls. So just put everything back and then I'm going to plug that up. Now this is adjustable, as you can see, you can move it forward and backward. And then I'm put this rubber that came with it, the uh, rubber band type deal. Uh, so you just put over that, like that, and just run this rubber up and put it on there. It's easy to start the rubber band on top so it won't fall, fall off. As you probably noticed, fall, fell. We don't even use that kind of uh, tents in our country, but uh, I came to the United States with no English and I, I'm, I'm really not good at uh, telling you tents. Move to T15 right there, that and that, and then pull this out so I can reach to the uh, reverse wire. So that's the reverse and then that green is the reverse so you put that to the green plug it in with using the T-tab Oh, I got it upside down gotta switch it You can see it but right there is the screen and you can do a lot of adjusting on it you can take pictures you want to put a SD card uh, exposure videos general setup back loop recording playback and so on and I think you can do uh, well I can't play back because I don't have any uh, anything uh, I don't know you can do one just one screen I'm trying to do just one screen I can't record, but uh, yes, when you back up, I see I'm, I'm doing a backup right now. Well, actually, maybe the wire that I ran is not working right or something. It's supposed to, uh, the big screen's supposed to come on, maybe. Uh, let me see, audio control, loop resolution, sensor, beep, screen saver, language, medium volume. Date, format, version, yeah, that's it. Uh, I had to play with some more with it, but uh, other than that, it, it works great for me right there it's probably recording and for less than $60 that's a good good price